Hannah, and I am here with... Danny Biederman. The author of... The Incredible World of Spy Pie. Thank you so much for being here with us. Thank you for having me here. Having a fun Tiki Oasis? I'm having a great time. I love this place. Is this your second, you My were second saying? time here. Yeah, okay. second time. Cool, I love cool. it. So could you tell us a little bit more about yourself and your book? Yeah, I am an author uh, and screenwriter. And uh, the book is uh, all about the spy really the spy genre in movies and television. Okay. It's a whole history of it, and I have a huge collection, a 4,000 piece collection, collected my whole life, of uh, original props and artifacts from movies and TV shows. So the book incorporates my collection with with the whole history of the genre. Wow, that's incredible. And you also did a symposium here earlier, is that correct? I just or did one, yeah, I just did yeah. one today. It's, it's okay. called uh, Ultimate Cool, the Great 60s spy craze. And I heard that it was great. Everyone really, really enjoyed it. I got a really great response to it. Cool. A good crowd. It went really so, well. So, if you don't mind telling me, how did you initially grow to love spy? What attracted you to the genre itself? It was during that during that uh, uh, era that there was so many, you know, the James Bond movies. Mm -hmm. There were just so many imitators, parodies on television and films. I grew up on that, and I just had a passion for it. I just loved it. I started making films of my own, you know, 16 millimeter films, mm -hmm. and uh, and then became a professional writer and really, be, you know, specialized in that. So, are any of these films still in existence? Oh yeah, I have them. Uh oh, you might have to do a movie screening at the next Tiki Oasis. I let the cat out of the bag, I'm afraid. <laughs> now there's no going back, folks. <laughs> um, so, what's your favorite artifact in your collection? My favorite art, well, the most popular one is the shoe phone from Get Smart. Oh, wow. uh, Which is just like at all my exhibits. I have a traveling exhibit that goes around the country in okay. museums. And that's like always the star of the show. Yeah, yeah. So that's the most popular one. My personal favorite, you have to have grown up on The Man from Uncle in the 60s, which was a hit spy show. Uh -huh. And it's a little cigarette pack that doubles as a communication device. It, it took me years to find the original uh, so prop. How do you find these things? Like, do you just have to know people? It's you know? all different ways. It's all a matter of like networking, you know? Okay. Uh, you know, living in LA, that's where Hollywood is, and meeting prop masters, producers, and they, I just have found things in many, many different ways. So you become like, in effect, a man who knows how to get things. I do. Oh, okay, well, what's next for you? What's next for me? I'm working on a new book now. Um, I've got uh, several exhibits that are hopefully coming up. I'm negotiating with some museums on the other side of the country right now. And uh, those are the those are the main things. And I have some script ideas that I may be working on. And so if anyone wanted to find out more or get a copy of your book, where would we be able to find that? Well, I'm sure it's for sale on Amazon. You know, I sell them myself and people contact me directly. And then you also have a show on Discovery Channel? I did have a show on Discovery okay. Channel. It's not currently on, uh -huh. but it's called Hollywood Spy Tech. I co-produced, wrote, and directed it. And it's an hour show all about the 60s craze spy stuff. Okay. Well, if you're lucky, you'll be able to find that and his book, both of which are really, really exciting and entertaining. And you also have a Facebook, right? Yeah, I have a Facebook page. Facebook. Yeah. Okay. So if you're trying to get in touch with Mr. Biederman, Facebook. That's the way to go. Drop a yeah. secret message and it'll be all good. <laughs> Danny Biederman. Violetta Beretta, and I hope we get to see a lot more of you and your incredible gadgets Thank in you. Uh, 2018 and beyond. I, yeah. That'd be great.